Hi guys, Mark here. Now, hoping you all had a, uh, a lovely Christmas and a happy New Year if you celebrate that. Um, personally, I did. I had a really nice one. Uh, I spent Christmas at home with my family, and then I went to my grandparents in Somerset for New Year's. I'm here in the UK. Um, this video, I thought I would do an update to my uh, Parallels desktop video with Windows 7. I thought I'd do a quick updated video with Windows 8 because I know that since I did that video uh, Windows 8 has become available to the public. So not much has changed. Um, depending on what accessories you have connected to your Mac it can improve the Windows 8 experience and I will get into that when we get there. So let's just get started. Oh I've also got a new monitor since we uh, since I did my original Windows 7 um, video. My old monitor is over here to my left, my 19 inch one, and I've now got a 24 inch one as my main kind of main display in front of me here. So I'll just open up Parallels Desktop, which is obviously the same as before. Now I will point out that if you have Parallels Desktop 7, then you can install Windows 8, it will work, but let me just drag this over here so you guys can see. Uh, it will work in um, Windows 8 will work in Parallels Desktop 7, but it's just not fully supported, so some of the gestures don't work. So uh, I've got a magic trackpad, and when uh, Parallels Desktop 7 doesn't support the Windows 8 multi touch gestures with Parallels tools. Um, whereas Parallels Desktop 8 does. So again, we'll just go to the new icon here. Now I've got this icon because, as you can see up here, I have got Windows 8 dual booted on my PC with uh, OS 10. so you pr might not have this. If you've got a boot camp partition, then obviously you will. Uh, but again, I'm just going to go to install uh, Windows. Now... Um, and again, I'm going to go to choose an image file. Now this will work with 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm not entirely sure which images I have now. Uh, let's just find this. Right, now the image I've got is here. And as you can see, it says uh, x64, x86. So mine's got 32 and 64-bit on the same image. I will put a link in the description to this torrent because the amount of people that asked me on my last video to link me to the torrent link them to the torrent and I didn't really want to but um, it's up to you whether you want to uh, use torrents or pay I mean personally I, I have paid for a copy of Windows for this machine this uh, installation well I say paid it's legal I got it through my college whereas I downloaded this just for virtual machines and and the like so it doesn't really make a difference actually, you can have the image, that's not illegal, torrenting the image isn't illegal, but please pay for your product keys. Torrenting the the the, the, uh, the disk image and burning it to a DVD or anything, that's not illegal, that's fine, but please purchase your product keys. As, you, as I say, I got my product key from my college, but please don't um, try and, uh, you know, use activators or anything because if you it's it's not Windows 8 isn't even that expensive guys so if you really like it then I'm sure you can afford the however much it is I can't remember off the top of my head but I know it's cheaper than uh, Windows 7 was so just there so there we got uh, the image right there so I'll click continue product key now I do believe that I think this does need a product key I can't remember though So I'm going to do this and then we'll see. Again like a PC, uh, Windows 8 and I'm going to customise the settings. Uh, let's that up to about there. That's fine. Continue again. So this is all pretty much the same as Windows 7 to be perfectly honest guys. It's, um, it's just for Windows 8 really. Um, once Parallels Tools is installed, that's when you're going to see the the main differences, I suppose. So you've got the new Windows 7 boot screen. So I'll let you uh, see this 
first bit in real time. Again, as I said, if you've got Parallels Desktop 7, this will work, uh, but I would recommend upgrading to uh, Parallels Desktop 8 if you can. Now, what I'm hoping is that it doesn't ask me for a product key. So I'm going to go with 64-bit uh, Pro. I'm not sure if you can quite see that, but that says Windows 8 Pro, and that says X64 right there. So I'm going to click Continue and hope, as I say, that it doesn't... Oh, it didn't. Awesome. Um, as I'm only going to install this for the tutorial, I didn't want to waste my product key again on a, another activation. Right guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this go through and I will come back to you when anything interesting happens. So I shall see you in a bit. Just thought I'd give you a quick update guys. Uh, the machine has just rebooted. It got as far as... Uh, I'd say installing features and then it said your computer needs to be restarted. So I will let this run in real time again to see if anything interesting appears. I have to say that in real life, I say real life, in a, a physical install at least, my Windows 8 boot time is certainly faster than Windows 7. So it'll be interesting to see if that is the same for the virtual machines. can see that just uh, finished getting all the devices that are attached to the virtual machine ready now because this is a virtual machine and it does the uh, parallels wizard it will have most likely skipped out the uh, steps on a physical install where you name the machine, you choose a colour scheme, you can either use a local account or sign in with your Microsoft account, connect to your Wi-Fi if you've got a Wi-Fi enabled um, computer or Mac and I think that's it and then it just get and then you get to this I think that's when you get to this screen or maybe I'm wrong maybe it will come up Oh, let's restart it again. Now I think that may be where the the those settings I mentioned could have been somewhere along here that it's skipping out. So I will skip this for now. Oh no, it's going to let me do it. So I'll do express. Oh no, just you click express and then that's it. Yeah. Rather than it going through all the different stages. Hi. Now I think this teaches you how to use Windows. And I have to say to Microsoft, I do think this is quite neat that it shows you um, what to do with your mouse. But what I think would have been even better is if, when it says move your mouse to any corner, they actually worked. So like it says move your mouse to the top right corner, but obviously I don't have a, I don't have. There's my Mac cursor, but I don't have a cursor. So what I think would have been neater is if you'd gone to the top right corner, and that and it, it actually happened, so you could actually see what what was what you were doing. 
because it makes it seem like it wants you to do it but it, it doesn't, it's just, wait, it, we're not wasting time, it's just something to pass the time so I'm not quite sure about that but I'm liking the setup, I have to say, I think it's far better than Windows 7 you know, at least they, they've made it more colourful, they've, you know introducing people to the new Windows, so I think that's all quite neat, personally your opinion may be different, you might still think that Windows 8 is stupid, but personally I think it's um it's not too bad really. Well as I say, I mean I've got a physical install that I use for gaming on this partition here, so I don't have any problem with it at all. I did have, I have to say, when the first, you know, developer builds was the developer build was released and then even the consume preview I I was still a bit kind of well, I don't really know. But um I think it's I think it's a great OS. Once you get past the whole Metro thing, that's what most people don't like. Um, but once you get past that, it's fine. Got no problem at all. I think we are nearly there. I think. You'd like to think we are nearly there. Obviously, once this is done, it will then install... Um, Parallels Tools... Sorry guys, this is an important message I had to reply to. Sorry about that. Um, this installing apps thing is kind of weird because I don't think it does this if you're not connected to the internet. Because I, when I installed this at my college on one of our machines um, for, a, a, uh, for a project, they're not connected to the internet and I didn't have this installing apps thing. But on my machine at home, well, obviously on this virtual machine and on my physical install, I've had to sit through this. So, but I think the apps are still there. That's what I'm not really. I don't really understand. Because I'm pretty sure once this, once you get to the start screen, you've still got like travel and news and all that. It's weird. I could have skipped this out, I just realised I could have once said installing apps, I could have said, oh guys, I'll see you in a minute, but oh, oh, we're getting somewhere. We're definitely getting somewhere now. Parallels tools are installed. Oh, they've already installed them. Oh, that's neat. I'm guessing this is finishing off the uh, Parallels Tools installation, I think. That's a nice touch. It now says restarting when you click restart rather than shutdown. Sorry, that's just my geek coming out, but I thought it was quite cool. <laughs> Hopefully that will be it for restarts once this comes up. As you can see it's taken my Well it hasn't actually taken my username, it's taken my account name from OS ten, because obviously um um my account, my username has got space in capital letters so it's taken my uh, actual username or account name, to be honest I don't know which is which what I'm trying to do is that's what I wanted to do sorry guys, just to make this a bit easier just put that up there there you go, some up in right, so Windows 8. 
let me just full screen this. Oh. Right, there we go. So Windows 8. So I've still got some of the apps, that's what I understand. Let's move that one up here. So if I go to desktop, as you can see, it just looks like Windows 7, really, there's just no start menu. Oh. Now come on, don't be awkward. Right, now, because I have a magic trackpad, if I move my finger to the right, you get the charms bar, which I think is really neat. Charms bar, if you bring it down, you get this bar at the bottom. You can click all apps. Um, oh, I don't want that. And again, if you, you you do swipe up, you get the same thing. And if you swipe left, now I don't think this is going to work because I haven't got anything open. If it's ever gone desktop, and then no, or not. Let's think of something. Open something else. Like oh, I don't know, Internet Explorer. Now this is the Metro Internet Explorer, not the well, not the real one. So there, if you swipe left with one, oh right, swipe right with one finger, then you get your list of open apps. Again, swipe left with one finger, you get the charms bar, and swipe up and down. Well, that's it. Depends on what app you're in. So I think this must show tabs, I guess. So that yeah, new tab. So I could go to Google. And then if I do that, then you get your tabs. So it's pretty much the same as the Windows 7 install for all intents and purposes. Um, just thought I'd show people that were thinking of maybe installing Windows 8 because they wanted to see what the newest OS was like. Let's just quit that. So that's about it, guys. Um, if I move up and down, move my fingers up and down, because obviously I can't pretend I have a finger on the screen because I've got to move the cursor so scrolling up and down moves the tiles and that's about it so uh, thank you very much for watching and also thank you for your continued support on my uh, first Parallels desktop video because um, the views are still going up, the likes are still going up and I really do appreciate it so if you've liked this video then please uh, comment, rate and subscribe and check out my other content and I will see you all in the next video cheers guys, bye bye